sometimes with the Harley lower ends, the flywheel washer is chewed up. It's bad enough you have to service it. You can dust it off with a grinder. It's not going to be too even and it's going to change the side play on your rod. Or you can pry it out, beat in a new one and have the same problem later. Or you can take it out, put a rotary table on your mill and tram it in. Put the flywheel on the rotary table and tram it in. Do the measurements necessary to get your cutter in the center of the path. When you're done, this area will be about a hundred thousandths deeper than it is now. And bearings and washers that are readily available, if you'll remember in the 70s when Harley went to the thrust washer on the transmission that was very small and weak looking. Well they have bearings and washers like that in different sizes and if you'll look at this you cut out a path deeper, you drop in a washer, you put in a bearing, you put in another washer, and all of these together, you've already measured this. You've measured the thickness of a stock washer. You've done the math, subtracted one from the other. You've cut this down a little deeper. When you're all done, you have a bearing in there. When the rod hits it, it spins on it. When you do your math to cut the depth, take a few thousandths off and it'll make the washers closer together from flywheel to flywheel and it'll tighten up on the rod in play. If you get too tight, don't worry about it. Just thin out your thrust washer the way you've been shown using the grinder. There you go.